Hi, and welcome to this Spark Place class. My name is Wyatt, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own paper straw rocket. Um, to get started with this class, we're gonna need a few things. Some construction paper, double-sided sticky tape, uh, regular scotch tape, a straw, some scissors, and safety glasses. There is also an optional step for this class. If you would like to make a launcher for your rocket, you will need a bottle, some clay, and a balloon. Now, to get started, we're going to take our construction paper and scissors, and we're going to cut a two inch by four inch section. Cut this here. That seems about far enough. And then we'll cut up like so and make a section of paper. It looks a bit like this. Notice that it is half as tall as it is wide. Next, we'll take a one inch section of our double sided sticky tape and we will place that along the edge, the long edge of our construction paper. Make sure to get it nice and flat. Then we'll take our straw and with the double-sided sticky tape facing up, we will wrap it around the straw, just like so. And if we get it right, it should stick to itself once we wrap it all the way around. Now it's very important to make sure we get this step as tight around the straw as possible so that our rocket does better later on. All right, so I've got it wrapped around the straw, just like this. We'll take a strip of regular scotch tape and put it on the edge here and wrap it around so that we have a tube. It's usually pretty helpful to put a second piece of scotch tape on the bottom of the tube as well. So we end up with this nice cylinder here. And if you've done everything right, it should slide onto the straw and off the straw rather easily. Now, if you tried to launch your rocket right now, it's not gonna work because you don't have one of the ends closed. So we're gonna close up the end really quick. I'm gonna take another strip of scotch tape, just about an inch long. And I'm going to wrap it around the very top of the, the tube here. And then we'll just pinch it shut. Now, if it doesn't seem like that's uh, closed off enough, you can take a second piece of tape and wrap it around the overlapping section at the top. And you should end up with a nice little nose cone for your rocket, just like that. Next up, we're going to need some fins for our rocket. So we're gonna take our scissors and our construction paper and we're just gonna cut some triangles. So cut off one there, one here, and another one here. Now, you can make your rocket fins whatever shape and design you want. Uh, you should try out multiple different designs to see which one works the best. Um, do triangles or would rectangles or maybe squares or circles no way of knowing until you try. Uh, you can also change the number of fins that you have. Maybe one fin is enough, or maybe you need seven. Keep trying until you figure out which number of fins is right for you. Uh, next, we'll take our scotch tape and we'll attach our fins to our rockets. So I'm just gonna take that tape Put it on the edge so that a little bit is overhanging. 
and just attach it to the rocket, like so. And then we'll do it however many times for however many fins we have. I've done three fins, so I'll just be putting three on here. Go to a different section and add another fin. So there's two. And our third, attach the tape and add the fin. So now I have three fins on my rocket and this rocket is all ready to go. To fire it, take your straw, put it inside the rocket like so. And it works best if you have a bendy straw because you can change the angle and direction of your rocket. Now, before you launch a rocket, make sure that you and everyone else around you has safety glasses on. So I've got my eye protection on, and now I'm ready to fire my rocket. And away it goes. Now, if you want a different sort of launcher for your rocket, that's what the optional supplies are for. We're gonna unscrew the bottle, make sure that it's nice and empty. And then we're gonna take our balloon and stretch out the end of it and put it over top of the bottle. So it should look a bit like this. Next, we're going to trim off the uh, excess balloon. This will be kind of tricky, so be very careful. Come on. And there we go. So I've got just a little bit of the balloon left. And what we'll do, we'll take our straw, put that inside of the balloon. So it looks a bit like this. Next, we'll take some tape. And we will tape the straw to the balloon. So it'll go right here and gently wrap around just like so. So now our straw is attached to our bottle and our balloon. And if I take a rocket, which I have right here, and put it on top. Now, if I gently squeeze, the rocket fires into the air. And then you can make as many rockets as you want and fire them off. Uh, try different things with your rocket. Uh, maybe put a little piece of clay at the end, see if adding a little bit of weight helps it go farther or if it makes it go shorter. Try different amounts of weight, try different uh, tail configurations, maybe add wings to your rocket. There are so many different things that you can try and some of them will work and some of them won't. But honestly, the best part is figuring out what works best and going from there. Um, that's been our class on making paper rockets. Uh, thank you for your time.